new details surrounding the death of beloved actor Matthew Perry. The star found unresponsive in a jacuzzi at his Los Angeles home Saturday from an apparent drowning, according to the LAPD. Hi, my name is Matthew, although you may know me by another name, and I should be dead. Yeah, that's definitely true. Reports claim Matthew Perry was out playing pickleball for a couple of hours. It was a normal Saturday. The 54-year-old actor came home and asked his assistant to go and run some errands. To wind down after his sport, he went into his hot tub, but then he never came out. His assistant discovered his body and now we're here. So let's get into it. Beloved actor Matthew Perry has unfortunately passed away and under bizarre circumstances. Honestly, I can't help but to ask questions. Matthew has been a popular actor during his career. He's most known for playing Chandler on the sitcom Friends back in 1994, which really shot him up to fame. But he started his career back in 1979 on the drama 240 Robert. From there, he starred in shows like Charles in Charge, Silver Spoons, and The Tracy the Ullman Show. He also starred in films with actors like River Phoenix. Keep in mind, River Phoenix had a tragic death of his own, and they were together in a film called A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. There's no denying that he is a skilled actor, and he's loved for that role as Chandler on Friends. Well, this is very similar to uh, to any group of friends, in, in that we just kind of you sit around and you you know, make fun of each other and laugh and have a good time and except this is at a coffee house and I don't know what I'm saying. Uh he was charming, he's likable, and he's a hard worker. So how did we end up here? Because Matthew, at age 54, was found unresponsive in his hot tub, according to the LA Times. So authorities received a 911 call on Saturday at 4.07 p.m. LAPD responded at 4.10 p.m., three minutes after, and headed to his home for a death investigation. Some sources have gone to the media, but they aren't giving giving up their names because they don't want to be associated with this investigation. They didn't cite a cause of death, but no drugs were found at the scene. Though there were some prescription medications recovered at the home, and there will be a toxicology report. New details surrounding the death of beloved actor Matthew Perry. The star found unresponsive in a jacuzzi at his Los Angeles home Saturday from an apparent drowning, according to the LAPD. Respond to the drowning. NBC News learning that authorities received a 911 call just after 4 p.m. on Saturday about a water emergency at a California residence. Law enforcement sources telling NBC News there was no apparent foul play pending a further investigation. No apparent foul play, but there's something very wrong here because he's 54, he's active, he's healthy, and he drowned in a hot tub, which can't be more than like, you know, three or four feet. From my understanding, he went and he played pickleball for about two hours. Actually, I'm like, I don't even know what pickleball is, but he told his assistant to go and run an errand when he got home. And then I guess he supposedly got into the hot tub and that's where he would have drowned, which makes me question, okay, if he like went and played pickleball for like two hours before this and then he went into a hot tub and maybe it was super warm maybe he just like overexerted himself and he went to cardiac arrest but either way we don't really know perry's publicists and other representatives did not immediately respond to messages from the associated press or other news outlets seeking comment an LAPD officer, Drake Madison, told the Associated Press that officers had gone to that block, quote, for a death investigation of a male in his 50s. So really, Matthew's own team isn't speaking on the situation because I don't think they can make sense of it. I mean, unless he had heart issues and then went into cardiac arrest, it really is a bizarre situation. And like, you know, series of events, him going to play ball and, you know, his assistant going out of the house and running an errand. So to be honest, I didn't know much about Matthew's personal life, but he's never been married. He doesn't have any children and his parents are still around. He's actually really close to them. He did have a fiance 
fiance named Molly between the years 2018 and 2021, but he's just been a single man. Of course, Matthew's mother, Suzanne, rushed to the scene to see what was going on with her son. Some of these nasty paparazzis were already at the scene asking the family for some comments, but at that point, they didn't even know what was going on, so they had no comment. Like, the rest of Matthew's team. Typically in these situations, the Hollywood stars get a lot of attention, which usually results in this investigation going a little bit faster because there's a lot more resources because of the public attention. Yet the cause of his death is still a mystery. The medical examiner updated its online record for Matthew Perry on Sunday afternoon, listing the cause of his death as deferred. And it turns out the autopsy has been conducted. So whether it's a heart attack or possibly drowning, or maybe it was a heart attack that went into drowning, they probably know that answer, but they're waiting to see if there were drugs in his system. Reports claim that investigators are planning to use the toxicology reports to determine whether any foreign substances may have contributed to Matthew's death. Now let's talk about the possibility that this was a heart attack and what we know about Matthew's health. One year ago, he released a memoir titled Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, a memoir. Matthew Perry revealed that his opioid abuse led to a colon rupture when he was 49, so about five years ago, and doctors gave him a 2% chance of survival. He wrote that he was in a coma for two weeks, followed by months more in the hospital. The actor required 14 surgeries to help repair all of of the abdominal damage. Friends, lovers, and the big terrible thing. You start with a thunderclap. Hi, my name is Matthew, although you may know me by another name. My friends call me Maddie, and I should be dead. Yeah, that's definitely true. He also admitted that he had gone to rehab 15 times over the years in hopes of kicking his drug addiction. He wrote in his book, the way I could bounce back from all this torture and awfulness, wanting to tell the story. Even though it's a little scary to tell your secrets in a book, I didn't leave anything out. Everything's in there. So maybe like, I mean, addiction is something you, you go through for a long time and it comes in waves. So there is a possibility that maybe drugs were reintroduced into his life. He wrote, I was taking 55 Vicodin a day. I weighed 128 pounds. I was on Friends getting watched by 30 million people. And that's why I can't watch the show because I was brutally thin. I didn't watch the show and I haven't watched the show because I could go drinking opioids, drinking cocaine. He said, I could tell season by season by how I looked. That's why I don't want to watch it because that's what I see. He says it's why he's written the harrowing details of his journey through alcohol all those drugs, and the fight to break free. 6,000 AA meetings, therapy 30 years, 15 rehabs, yeah. maybe at least, half of your life in treatment or in sober living houses. Even though Friends is so huge, so iconic, so popular, he can't even watch it because when he watches it, he can only think about where he was in his life and what kind of drugs he was using to make him appear that way. He also wrote about his alcoholism and having his first drink at age 14, becoming an alcoholic by 21. He claims that he has spent more than $7 million on efforts to get sober, including multiple stints in rehab. He has been in detox, he estimates, 65 times, survived 14 surgeries after a nearly fatal emergency four years ago. They ran me into um, the emergency trauma room and it was in there that my colon exploded it is so sad to see that this man has struggled for so long i mean she's even calling him out saying that he spent half of his life in recovery from his addiction and it just like makes me question who was around him who are these influences where is his support in the industry that led him to this point and if he did have like some i guess natural cause when it comes to his death at age 54, it could be because his body has gone through so much already. He was in a coma for 14 days. As he heals from all he's been through, there's still wear and tear on his voice and speech and the scars on his body like a warrior back from battle. I was in that hospital for five months and, you know, escaped death really narrowly. 
that sounds so painful i mean it just reminds me that health is wealth and like a colon exploding or anything going on down there i'm so i mean my family we all had like appendicitis at one point knock on wood that i don't ever get it because like everyone else has gotten it but it's so scary to think how your body can just fail like that he wrote that he wanted to be remembered as somebody who lived well loved well and was a seeker and that his paramount thing is that he wanted to help people matthew was active on social media and one of his last instagram posts was actually him relaxing in a hot tub just six days before his apparent drowning he posted a photo of himself in the hot tub which is kind of like i don't know just like foreshadowing and scary I don't, it's just like a weird coincidence i guess he wrote in the caption oh so warm water swirling around you makes you feel good i'm matt man <laughs> Okay. It does look like this is actually at his home. I think here it almost looks like he's like in the pool part because I believe the other part like right up there is actually the hot tub. But either way, just like a freaky coincidence and really just, I don't know, sad. Matthew's team isn't saying much, but his family did release a statement. They said Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. You all meant so much to him, and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. The co-creators of Friends did put out a statement saying, It seems impossible. All we can say is that we feel blessed to have had him as part of our lives. He was a brilliant talent. It's a cliche thing to say that an actor makes a role their own, but in Matthew's case, there are no truer words. From the day we first heard him embody the role of Chandler Bing, there was no one else for us. So it's a really sad situation, and I hope that they do find some peace when it comes to the findings of how he passed away but either way everyone's super unsettled and um it's heartbreaking because he was one of america's favorites i have to admit i know this is i've actually never watched friends before i've never actually like seen the show i know jennifer aniston's on it and the other actress who's also in the comeback i watched the comeback if you guys know who that is um or what show that is i think it's on hbo max but either way i have not seen i mean i've seen clips of friends in passing but i never actually sat down and watched a video like i don't know any of the characters names but i know people love this show because every time i say i haven't seen friends they're like wait what you haven't seen friends so maybe i'll go and check it out now but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you in a new video soon bye guys